In St. Paul on any given warm summer day, the Ford fields are bustling with youth activity. We provide opportunities for 700 boys and girls uh, every summer to play ball and we've been part of the community since 1953. But when the Ford plant and the surrounding land they owned went up for sale, that future went into jeopardy. It was uh, a time of anxiety, no doubt. And there were a lot of people from Highland Ball who worked on this and stayed in touch. The friends of Highland Ball lobbied tirelessly to keep the fields a part of any deal. And when Ryan Companies purchased the land in 2019, they donated two ball fields to the group and its youth leagues. A well, deal that was finalized this week. Can't drop this one. For us, it's pretty simple. I think right. when we design buildings, we build them, we develop them. That's all kind of a means to an end. And, and the end for us is building communities, yeah. building places. So when you start with something like this, the last thing we wanted to do was remove it. There were some sacrifices, however. Montreal Avenue, which will be the new entrance to the site, runs directly through one of the three fields here. But Highland Ball is grateful that they can at least keep two out of the three. They've donated uh, almost five acres to us. Um, they didn't need to do that. And, and so, you know, that generosity is going to take us through the next 65 years uh, of kids playing ball. Which is exactly how Mike Ryan, who played some games here as a kid, would like it. Uh, but it hit home after we announced that we were saving them. My three nephews had a triple header here, and so it just immediately becomes personal. Personal property now staying in the hands of the people who play on it. In St. Paul, Dave Schwartz, CARE 11 Sports.